National Grade 6 Assessment 2013. The results of the National Grade 6 Assessment, written on the 25th of March and 26th of March 2013, will be released shortly to schools. 16,811 candidates were entered for this assessment. These candidates also wrote the National Grade 2 Assessment in 2009 and National Grade 4 Assessment in 2011. The results being released give a report on the candidates' overall performance at the three assessments. A percentage of the marks gained at the Grade 2 and the Grade 4 assessments was combined with the marks gained at the Grade 6 assessment in order to determine the candidates' overall scores. 5% of each candidate's Grade 2 score in Mathematics and English and 10% of the Grade 4 scores in the same subjects were added to 8 to 5% of each candidate's score in those subjects. The combined scores in Mathematics and English were added to the scores gained in Science and Social Studies. The highest possible standardized scores obtained were Mathematics 134, English 146, Social Studies 138, Science 142. The highest possible total score obtainable was 560. Details of the candidates securing the top 10 marks are as follows. Gaining the top position in our nation this year with 548 marks was Salma Majid of the ISA Islamic School, Islamic Academy. The second position was gained by Christian Pyle of Mays under 12 with 547 marks. Third position was gained by Navindra Pasad of Mays under 12 with 545 marks. The fourth, fifth, and sixth positions were also gained by candidates from Mays under 12, and their names are Ashmi Natasha Deo with 543 marks, Brandon Chanderban with 542 marks, and Zain Ramatar with 541 marks. Sharing the sixth position were Lishana Binda of Stella Maris Primary and Abdul Rahman Sattar of Al Ghazali Islamic Academy, and they each gained 541 marks. The ninth position was shared by three candidates, namely Divya Jagru of Graham's Hall Primary, Daniel Baldeo Thorne of the New Guyana School, and Rini Bisnot of Cropper Primary in Barbies. They each scored 440, 540 marks. The twelfth position was gained by Metri Vatara of Lenora Primary with 539 marks. Lenora Primary, as you know, is in Region 3. The remaining positions were occupied by Sean Bajan from the Academy of Excellence, and he got 538 marks. Janelle Balai from Monrepo Primary with 538 marks. Arti Hublal from Valmiki Vidyalaya with 538 marks. Kirsten Caesar from the Success Elementary, 538 marks. Devindra Ragubansi from Success Elementary, 538 marks. Amos Sarwan from the New Guyana School, 538 marks. Imtiaz Khan from the ISA Islamic Academy, 538 marks. Jonathan Kamash from Winter Gardens Primary, 538 marks. Shanice Howard, Greenacres Primary, 538 marks. Michaela De Freitas, Josel Education Institute, 538 marks. Narendra Samlal, ABC Academy, 537 marks. Keenan Pasad, Marion Academy, 537 marks. Harshani Kundun from Valmiki Vidyalaya, 537 marks. Yashoda Samaru from Valmiki Vidyalaya, 537 marks. And Simran Siraj from Monrepo Primary, 537 marks. 
241 candidates from schools in regions 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 10 are eligible for entry into President's College. The top 10 marks were shared by uh, 23 students. Out of the top 1%, the students who performed at the highest 1% in the country, four were from Region 2, three from Region, uh, sorry, 21 from Region 3, four to one from Region 4, nine from Region 6, one from Region 7, 10 from Region 10, and eight to seven from Georgetown. The top 1% of this year's cohort is comprised of 80 males and 93 females, and the top 1% amounts to 173 candidates. And that is because, as you can see, um, given that only 16,000 something and 16,811 uh, wrote, because students tied at various positions, the number is higher in the top 1%. We are pleased that um, this year again we see our investment in uh, equitable distribution of services paying off and we see that not only children in Georgetown are doing well but children across the country. We heard from Cropper in Region 6, Lenore in Region 3, students from Region 2, um, Region 7, all in the, the top 1%. And we're happy about that. We are going to continue to make sure we uh, serve the children of Guyana equitably so that we could keep seeing um, results that reflect that. The cutoff Scores for the sixth form schools, and these are the senior, the QC Bishop Saints. Queen's College, the cutoff is 525 marks. Bishop's High School, 519 marks. St. Stanislaus, 515 mar marks. St. Rose's High, 510 marks. And St. Joseph's High, 506 marks. This is our release this morning, we'd like to say from the Ministry of Education that we are very proud of our children, of all of the children who took this exam. We're extremely um, pleased with the fact that they turned out to take the exam. We're extremely proud of their performance and their consistency over the years. We'd like to say congratulations to all the children who took the grade six exams and all the children who will be entering into a new phase of their lives to go to secondary schools. We'd also like to congratulate and thank the parents of these students who we know um, worked with them, who we know supported them, and who uh, helped their children to come this far. We expect that same kind of support and partnership going forward. To the teachers who would have spent um, a lot of time with these children doing what uh, we expect them to do, we thank you. Uh, you are the backbone of our education system. We look forward to working even harder with you. And um, to the persons who marked and supervised the exams and kept it at a level where our integrity is intact, we thank you also. So I thank you. We are open for a few, few questions, but because I'd like to go and visit some of the top schools or the schools that produce the top students, uh, we'd like to keep it as brief as possible. The other thing is, last night we informed, and this really good news, I was speaking to His Excellency the President, and I informed him um, to brief him that we had had the results and uh, that we were going to be releasing these results today, and he was extremely pleased that the results are here this early. Um, incidentally, 
This is the earliest we've ever released the results. In fact, we've been speaking to in speaking to someone from the NDMA who does our um, compilation of grades and so on, who was with the system since the 1970s. He says for the time that he's been here, since the 1970s, this is the earliest the results has ever been released. So this is a historic moment also for Guyana. The president was very pleased about that. He was extremely proud of our children and has um, asked me to announce that the top 1%, every child who falls in the top 1% will be given a laptop, compu uh, laptop computer.